Well, this is big stuff. Today I want to talk about Facebook. And people going live and posting still on Facebook, especially my African American sisters. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? You guys go live on Facebook, you're in the damn mall shopping. We're talking about some ridiculous ass bullshit, you at a club or whatever the case may be. It's ridiculous. You guys need to stop this shit. What is wrong with you guys? It never stops. I'm newly engaged. I never posted a picture of my fiance or anything like that on Facebook. I just put on there that I'm, my status is engaged. I had women that I've been with in the past go on Facebook and talk all kinds of shit. When it's over, it's over. Obviously I decided I don't want to marry you. And you gotta post negative things about me on my Facebook. Get a motherfucking life. When a man don't want you, he don't want you. That's just how it is. Don't take it personal. Women tell me I missed that vagina. It's the best vagina I ever had. Let me tell you something, sweetie. Vagina will not hold the man. It takes more than what you got between your legs or them two breasts you have. That's just a dime a dozen. It's ass and breasts everywhere. You are nothing special. It's about what you have inside your heart, your love, your caring for a man. So I want this is to all my exes. It's over. If I wanted you, I would have, wanted, I would have married you. you. I would have been engaged to you. Obviously something was wrong. I'm not putting you down. It just wasn't right. All of us know when somebody comes into their life, that's the right person for them. And I chose somebody that's the right person for me. This is a picture of her. She's no spring chicken, but she's what I'm happy with. You must do what makes you happy, because if, nobody, if you're not happy, nobody's going to be happy around you. It's called life. Get over it. You women are something else. If you're not on Facebook showing your ass, you're on Facebook trying to destroy somebody's relationship. Because a man didn't want you, get over it. And as far as my ex-relationships, I want to say this. I hit dog real hollow, and a dog needs a bone more than once. If a man decides that he don't want to be with you, it's okay. There's a bunch of men out here. But you know what's funny is how you ladies make your exes so bad. By the time they get involved and want to get married and be with somebody for the rest of their life, you got to start to put shit in the game. Somebody went on my Facebook, contacted my fiance, and sent a bunch of bullshit. Say it. Life is something else. Some of you women are something else. And this Facebook bullshit that you guys are doing is absolutely ridiculous. There's one lady on Facebook, high yellow, weave, and baby, she thinks she's on hit. And she goes to the mall and she goes here and she's talking like she's important. You know, she want to be a star. Sweetie, let me tell you something. I'm 50 years old. I'm two days old in dirt. I don't know how old you are, but your day have come and went. You can kiss goodbye. And that shit you got between your legs is not going to hold the man. One more time. That's what you have on the inside. You guys need to stop that shit. And to all my exes, I just want to leave you with this one. Kiss my ass. Kiss my ass and kiss my ass. Thank you so much for listening. I really appreciate it. It's just my opinion. My opinion is like an asshole. And one more time to everybody that's my ex. Kiss my ass. Thank you so much for listening. I really appreciate it. I'm not trying to disrespect anybody. But I had enough of you and this Facebook bullshit. Kiss my ass to all my ex relationships that had something negative to say on Facebook about me. Thank you for listening. I really appreciate it. I love you too. Kiss my ass.